What's going on, Jerome's? Your Minnesota Fighting Vikings needed all hands on deck heading to Philly on a short week. There's night football, but they're going to be without uh, their starting center, Garrett Bradbury, uh, who exited very early uh, in the week one game against Tampa Bay after seven offensive snaps uh, with a, a back injury. Now, Vikings released their uh, official injury report. Uh, we'll go over it once uh, the stupid Eagles, who, by the way, are a time zone ahead. Mm, I released their final injury report, but uh, Bradbury out. Uh, he was DNP'd uh, in all three uh, simulated uh, you know, walkthrough practices this week. Uh, Derisaw and Davenport uh, will be questionable, but uh, I, uh, they do expect Derisaw to play. Uh, TBD what happens uh, with Davenport, who was listed as questionable uh, last week for the Tampa Bay game, uh, but he also missed. And Bradbury's back injury. So what's most concerning is this. Uh, so Kevin Seifert, ESPN, who's not Carl Gershman, go. Uh, Kevin O'Connell said that Bradbury's back injury is similar to the one that cost him five games last season after, and was exacerbated uh, by a car accident. Uh, again, it's honestly the most Minnesota Vikings thing that can happen. So Bradbury uh, gets dinged up uh, his back in a game and then gets in a, a, a small car accident uh, after the Colts game. Uh, luckily, everyone was fine. But, I mean... Vikings, always. Uh, I asked O'Connell what made the team confident that Bradbury's back wasn't a risk when they resigned him in March. Blah 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 blah. Now, again, you know the fact that it's a similar injury and the fact that he you know retweaked it at, after seven uh, snaps in the regular season that, that that does that that is a little bit of cause for concern. Now, I understand that they're want they're banking on continuity and Bradbury did make a big leap last season after being one of the worst the worst uh, centers in the league in the last three years. So they think that they could work with them long term. And the back wasn't an issue during training camp and joint practices. Uh, obviously, the ones didn't play in preseason, but it's still a little bit annoying. It, it is. Uh, the Vikings uh, can get out of Bradbury's contract after the season uh, with only uh, around two and a half million dead. His prorated signing bonus, but uh, interestingly enough, is uh, 2024 base salary four point nine million is injury guaranteed. It's not fully guaranteed right now until the third day of the new league year next year, uh, but it's injury guaranteed for now. But something to watch for uh, if this back injury continues. Also, uh, watch if they place Bradbury on short-term IR uh, before the start of the game Thursday because they, they didn't place uh, Bradbury on IR last year. And then it was week to week. Uh, he ultimately ended up missing five games and he returned for the wild card game against the Giants, which Dexter Lawrence says hello. Mm. Uh, but replacing him will, will be Austin Schlutman. Uh, Schlutman came in and played uh, 57 snaps uh, week one uh, in Bradbury's place and also replaced Bradbury last year for four games. Uh, Schlutman is 27 years young, 6'6", six six, 300, uh, 2018 UDFA out of TCU. Uh, four years experience with Denver with current Vikings offensive line coach Chris Cooper, Justin Riscotti, uh, as well as running backs coach, uh, run game coordinator Curtis Modkins. Uh, and when that contingent came over to Minnesota, Schlutman was one of the first uh, players at the Vikings sign, uh, a utility backup uh, offensive lineman, you know, sort of the new Brett Jones, which I I'm a fan of, man. Uh, Vikings re-signed him this offseason uh, after he started four games last year. Uh, unfortunately, he broke his ankle uh, in the Green Bay game, but he did play decently. Uh, in the Colts win and also the Giants uh, Christmas Eve win. Uh, week one, uh, he allowed two pressures but zero sacks. 66.9 uh, PFF pass blocking grade, which is going to have to be pretty good uh, against Jalen Carter and Jordan Davis and uh, Fletcher Cox and, and whatnot. Uh, but the major concern right now, so, when Schlutman broke his ankle in the Green Bay game, uh, they put Chris Reed at center. Now, Chris Reed had not had a, a regular season center snap in his NFL career. He had a couple preseason ones, but remember, Chris Reed literally could not shotgun snap. <laughs> and th that was a big issue. But currently, as of right now, uh, the Vikings, with Bradbury out, uh, outside, uh, besides Schlutman, there isn't a single player on the roster, uh, on the 53 or the practice squad, uh, that has taken an, uh, a center snap in the NFL or even in college. And also, that's including NFL preseason. Uh, remember, Chris Reed is on NFI. So, it's a little bit concerning. It is. So maybe the Vikings shuffle the deck a little bit. Uh, maybe they bring a uh, offensive lineman with center experience onto the practice squad. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll see at that stage. But again, knocking on all the wood. Uh, hopefully nothing happens to Schlutman. But what's the plan? Uh, what, what is the plan? Blake Brandle going to play center? You know, former Oregon State left tackle Blake Brandle. Tough to handle Blake Brandle. Kicking in at center. Ole Udo taking the snaps. I don't know. I don't know, man. But... 
we'll, we'll see what happens. But, you know, Bradbury, uh, again, uh, did respect the jump that he made last year and would love to have him uh, back under center. He's great uh, in, in the run game. He's great at being a leader and, uh, you know, making the, uh, the, the protection calls at the line of scrimmage. But, I don't know, like, you, you never, you've never met a person who used to have a bad back. And is this something that's going to be lingering long term? Don't really know. But rallying around Schlutman and uh, the Dutch pronunciation, and hopefully he can get it done uh, against Philadelphia. We'll see what happens, man. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Garrett Bradbury is out uh, against Philly with a back injury, uh, which flared up again, uh, and Schlutman is in. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But next time, Skull Production Value.